Hi, my name is Greg Metz. I'm the master distiller for Old Elk Distilleries. We are here today to uh, do a tasting of the four uh, whiskey categories that we uh, have in our portfolio. Uh, they're all uh, custom mash bills and they're all uh, very unique relative to other products that are on the shelf. So we're going to start with our wheat whiskey. It's a 95% wheat, 5% malt mash bill. Uh, extremely high relative to uh, the wheat content for a wheat whiskey. One of the really uh, fun things about this is with the either uh, no corn content or low corn content in our wheat whiskey, uh, it, it actually brings uh, sensory notes to the top that would normally be hidden or masked by uh, higher corn content mash bills. So first thing we're going to do is just do a, a light nosing of the product. And this is a six-year-old uh, product, so it, it comes with a lot of really nice uh, maturity notes. Uh, you get the classic uh, caramel, vanilla, and certainly the oak. But with the, uh, the high wheat content, again, we're going to have uh, tasting notes that are different than maybe what you've seen before. So uh, for me, and everybody's palates are different, I get some uh, nice fruity notes. Uh, I get the really nice caramel and uh, a lot of the oak characteristic from the barrel. Next, we're going to do Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. Uh, mash bill is 51% corn, 45% wheat, and 4% malted barley. Uh, extremely high wheat content for a weeded bourbon, uh, and again, a very custom mash bill. So again, we're gonna uh, do the uh, century first. Just do a gentle nosing of the product. Uh, this particular product is a minimum of five years old. And this, uh, uh, the notes that I get on, on uh, this particular mash bill is uh, some toffee. Uh, you get all the nice uh, vanilla, oak, and caramel characteristics from the barrel, but uh, I get some toffee and I also get some uh, fruity characteristics. Very nice to the nose. Very smooth. It's, uh, the toffee comes through. I uh, get some of those nice fruity notes. It's a very nice product. So that, that was Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. Uh, moving on, we're going to uh, going to do a tasting of Old Elk Flagship Bourbon again. Uh, another very custom mash bill. Uh, this particular mash bill is 51% corn, 34% malted barley, and 15% rye. Uh, extremely high malted barley content for a bourbon. Uh, nothing else like it on the market anywhere. Now this this bourbon was <coughs> crafted to be smooth and easy, so. Uh, hence the very high malted barley content. Uh, this product's a minimum of five years old. And again, uh, looking at the century, uh, we're, we're gonna get some nice, I get a little bit of amaretto in there and some really nice maple characteristics. The, the maple comes through for sure, uh, a hint of that amaretto on the taste. And of course, all the vanilla oak and caramel characteristics that uh, you attribute to the barrel. Uh, finally, we're going to round out the tasting with uh, Old Elk Rye Whiskey. Uh, this particular mash bill is 95% rye and 5% malt. Uh, uh, again, this is a, uh, a rye, rye whiskey. Very high in the rye content for a rye whiskey. Thing about rye whiskey that really comes comes to the front is the uh, spice characteristic that rye is uh, famous for. And for me, it's it's more of a clove type spice characteristic. Delicious. A 
very spicy, lots of nice oak, lots of vanilla. Old Elk, 95% rye whiskey. The, the one thing about Old Elk, as we've said during the tasting, is that we have very unique mash bills and uh, we're very different than everybody else on the shelf. Uh, some of the other things that we do, uh, different than others in the industry, is actually a slow cut proofing process, uh, whereby we uh, reduce from barrel proof to bottling proof in many steps rather than just one or two. And what that does is it actually helps preserve the very delicate congeners that we work so hard to produce uh, in all of our mash bills. Uh, the reason uh, we preserve them by doing it in many steps is that the, the cutting process is actually a heat liberating reaction and it can actually induce enough heat into your product to drive away some of the very delicate congeners that, that uh, we're looking for. So by doing it in many steps, we limit the amount of heat that goes into that product at any given time and actually preserve some of the really delicate flavors that we're looking for. All of our products from a quality perspective are also world-class. They're made as good or better than anybody else in the industry. All of our products are distributed in all 50 states. And actually, if you go to our website, there's a store locator that will help you find a store that carries these products. So we very much appreciate your interest and hope you enjoy our products.